Since I first got my King Song S18 and I took it on some single track mountain bike trails, I have been hooked. It is one of the best ways to unwind and just forget all the day-to-day -day rubbish that goes on in your head. You are in the zone from the moment you hit the trails to the moment you finish. There are a lot of electric unicycles being released at the moment which are marketed as being sort of adventure wheels, trail wheels, jump wheels, all this kind of stuff. Um, and uh, some of them do it better than others. Um, and do any of them do it really well? Mm, I would say probably not. And is there room for improvements across the board? Certainly. So um, in my quest to um, have a, a a really good off-road wheel I've been instead of looking at all the current wheels being released and buying new ones I've decided to make my own wheel um, as good as possible off-road and as part of that I have um, looked at uh, so the new release wheels and different different ones coming out and seeing what elements are good what elements are bad and can i incorporate them in uh, my own wheel so um what i found uh, as a as a previous uh, modification i extended the um the travel on my big old master suspension um quite significantly by extending the stanchion tubes uh, detailed those modifications in a previous video. Um, I found that there, whilst that did give a significant improvement, um, the there were some issues with the strength of the uh, the linkage. So instead of just making a new linkage, I decided I was going to see what else I could do to um, improve the Bigode Master for off road. So. Initially, I decided I was going to up my game with the CAD and uh, you know, basically create a much more complete model of the Big Ode Master so that any other modifications I did, um, it was easy to see how they would work as a whole with the, the, the full assembly. Um, I decided that I was going to try and increase the uh, suspension travel even further. Um, over the 125 millimeters as I had it before um, because I think that more travel is better um, there's a reason that uh, you know Dakar rally cars have a suspension travel of 500 millimeters and Formula One cars have only around 80 millimeters suspension travel so um, more suspension travel really is better and most of the adventure wheels that are marketed today just don't have enough suspension travel they need more um, so um, I think that the among the, the the best on the list would probably be the Bigode Extreme and the S22 Pro so the, the Bigode Extreme is is I think sold as uh, 130 millimeters travel don't think it's that much from what I've heard. Um, the S22 Pro, I think something similar, 130 millimeters. Does it give that much? I don't think it does either. Having said that, these two wheels are some of the most popular wheels for jumping. So I decided to look at them to see what how they do it. To gain the extra bit of travel from the master suspension, um, I decided to do some modifications in a similar fashion to the extreme stanchions which basically involves removing the slider cutting out a section of the stanchion and then boring a hole new hole for the um, for the slider uh, doing that on both sides I cut the hole for the um, stanchion slider using a 34mm broaching cutter. Um, they're usually used for drilling steel um, girders and things like that and they produce a very accurate um, reamed hole so I, I actually clamped the stanchion in um, the cross side of a lathe and then used the uh, the tool the 
the chuck to hold the um, broaching cutter and I very carefully bored the um, the 34 millimeter hole uh, through the the stanchion. The upgraded chassis now basically has the the pedal hangers mounted to the outside without a mating clamp on the inside. Um, to allow that to happen uh, it's a very similar arrangement to the Bigode Extreme so it basically has a, uh, a cylindrical insert into the stanchion tube with a, a tapped hole in it that, that inserts inside and the pedal hangers clamp onto the outside it's all held on with a single M8 bolt through it um, the strength of the M8 bolt is important um, calculations show that it it should be okay for most situations and it has proved strong enough in uh, my testing i'm not going to go into too much detail about the design of the linkage uh, i'll just let the the cad speak for itself i'll upload that to um, grab cad uh, just to sh this shows how the extra travel is achieved and how the parts move past one another and how the pedal hangers are now adjusted. Um, the I decided to have the piggyback reservoir uh, protected and facing inwards. To do that, I split, didn't have a solid pivot. I split the pivot on both sides. Yeah, so as you can see, it achieves the full 150 millimeters of travel within the uh, the chassis um, quite comfortably with the pedals now sitting uh, a bit higher than previously. Um, so overall the build went well um, a lot of the tweaking and fettling I had to do on the previous upgrade to 125 millimeters meant that it was a fairly plug and play um, once I'd made the parts um, the, the, sh the shock uh, went in quite nicely and uh, one of the nice things is that you can adjust the compression dampening from the front so you reach in underneath the um, and the control box and you can you can do it by feel um, the so here the um, old sort of um, bump stop the the o-ring couldn't work anymore because it's no longer a full circle where the the two parts meet so i had to um, make a new uh, end stop that's just a piece of um, I think it's foamed EPDM um, and it's just screwed on onto the uh, the pedal hanger um, and as you can see the the total suspension travel so this is including the end stop at the bottom and the end stop at the top is 147.5 millimeters um, and I've been a bit generous here and I'm saying that I've got an extra two and a half millimetres just to round it to 150 millimetres. Um, the final thing that uh, was needed to be dealt with was that now that, that we've got that bit more um, suspension travel, the uh, motor wire was a bit stretched going in through the original route. So what I did was I uh, drilled a hole in the control box um, and inserted the wire through using the existing grommet uh, and then created this 3D printed clamp which screwed onto the outside to hold it in place and as you can see a bit of extra silicon just to seal it up. I will upload all the CAD models um, onto uh, GrabCAD so for anyone who wants to take a look at them um, they are provided as is. I cannot guarantee the accuracy of all the parts. I've only done it just to enable me to make the parts I have and I've added bits in just to kind of complete the look of it, things like the pedals. Now a lot of the stuff is only based on um, uh, estimates of the dimensions and what they look like um, so I can't guarantee that it's all exact in fact I guarantee you that much of it is not exact but uh, it should be a good starting point for other people to do modifications as well
So there you go. Um, they're the mods that I did to um, increase the travel on my master. Um, I think the master, I said it before, it's a really good platform to upgrade. Um, and um, since the, up the release of the V4, uh, I think it's kept it quite a current wheel still. Um, and I, I really encourage people to modify it themselves. It's got a lot of potential. Um, and yeah, it's it's an excellent wheel. Um, I'm having great fun modifying mine. I doubt this will be the last. I'm not quite sure where I'm going next, but uh, whatever, it's going to be fun. So yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy my wheel on some mountain bike trails. <laughs>